face. So we're going to draw this lovely finch, zebra finch, and we're going to have some fun with it. It's not sitting on a branch, but that's okay. We can have a lot of fun with just developing it the way that it is sitting by the water. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to look at the way that the posture is working. And I would say that it's just slightly um, bent down. So I'll start off with just a center line. And um, I'm going to put in a line for where the head is, but this might be adjusted a little bit later. Then what I want to do is I'm just going to find the front of the, of the circle, uh, the oval of the body. So I'll just go ahead and put that in. And I'll make it relatively plump, but I can adjust again. So now that I've done that, I've kind of, I've got this front part in here. I know that the head is going to be coming out this way. And I want to go ahead and put the, the head in and I'm going to sit it just about right in here. Um, maybe back a little bit, a little bit smaller, right about like that. Um, so we have this area in the front comes down um, and over on this side. So this being the, the front of the head, I want to go ahead and just find the center mark on that. And again, a center mark on that. And I'm just paying attention. The, uh, this bird has a very large beak. So I'd like to be able to just get that in uh, correctly. And if I take a look at the, the placement of the beak, I put it in around the, the middle in here, and it's about, that beak is really big on that bird. It goes up to almost the very, very top of the head in here. So just kind of looking at that, um, we want to pull that line up and this over and just right down in here. I'm just going to sharpen my pencil and I'm working with a Faber-Castell 4B. Nice and soft. And that's my little dog, Purple. She's having a conversation with herself. She's a sweetie. And then this part in here is going to come up. So we're just going to just block things in at this moment. Uh, the eye is going to be sitting about halfway into that beak. And it's probably about halfway back. So just around right here. Then we can adjust that if we need to. And next thing I want to do is based on this, the, the way that the posture line works, and I'm going to take a look at the back part over in here and pull that up, the feathers coming from this angle and down, and the back part of the, the bird is looking like this and then comes up like that. Okay, and then the angle of the, the back feathers go up and there's a large area in here. And this from the center of the chest, the legs are gonna come down to about here and then over and they look like they're falling about where the center of the chest is um, where the uh, kind of ankle joint is and um, these small birds have uh, typically four toes we'll do the the back one it's same thing similar position back. We don't really see too much of that. 
going on back there, but that's all good. Okay, so I'm just going to block in the, the bottom beak, part of the beak just coming down and just slightly angled. Like that. So really narrow or short, and then a big scoop on the back in here, and then this comes in the front of the beak. Really nice in the front in here. I like to have these uh, these lines are a little bit more and then up and there's a bunch of bottom feathers in here. This comes up here and then the group of tail feathers that come up. Like that. This grouping of wings come this way. Okay, so I think we have a pretty good overall layout. Um, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of, of blocking in. I'm going to just grab a, a darker pencil. So I've got a 7B. Block things in a little bit better with a 7B with a bit of a, a darker pencil so we can see a bit better. So interesting scales that are happening along the, the feet. In here. So I'm just putting those little scales in and it's more of a a hint of the, the scales and then it's like a little toe in the back. Let's take a look at this eye. See, looks like I've got the eye needs to be just slightly adjusted. I'm going to put it down a little bit and just make it a little bit smaller. Just bringing that in the back. Like this. We have a little 
bit of a reflection going on on the eyes, so we can have some fun with that. Pupil, black, the rest of the eye is generally a brown, so there's going to be a little bit of a, a difference in color going on. Locking in. So again, just blocking in these feathers in the back. And there's ones that go on the top in here. Okay, so let's just eliminate some of these sketch lines. Just so we can see a little bit better.
Okay, so we have a pretty good sketch of this lovely bird. And I want to go in and use a nice dark graphite pencil. And one of the best dark graphite pencils is the... Um, you can use a carbon pencil, but this one here, this is a uh, Kimberly General Pencil, a 9XXB. Um, this is a great pencil. So I'm just going to come in and it's a beautiful, nice and dark. I'm just going to do some outlines and maybe add a couple of darker details to the, to the image. So let me just go ahead. I'm just adjusting in here. So nice and dark on the pupil. Maybe a bit of detailing around the, the beak in here, little feathers in the nostril. So my my drawing is slightly, I think the beak is a bit high, um, but that's okay. I'm not going for 100% precision, just having a little bit of fun here. And there's a little bit of nice feathering going on around this part of the beak, and that's pretty typical. You'll see this feathering. And then, of course, it's a zebra finch, so it's got these little stripes. And so I'll just put some of those in just to indicate. Going along all the way down. And my pencil is nice and sharp. So if you don't have a 9XXP, you can work with a, a black colored pencil. That would work really well. Just make sure that you keep your black colored pencil nice and sharp. And we have some other little indicators in here. Um, let me go ahead and just add a little bit of color. So I'm going to add some mid-range orange to that beak. I'm going to do this fairly quick. I'm not going to be too detaily about it. So I, I am working with some graphite, so and a mid-range orange. So I'll put that on top. And I'm putting this down really, really lightly, and then a little bit of a deeper red, and that's going to build up my values this red. So just along the edging in here, adding some darker value. Just kind of on the inside. I'll come back with a little bit more of that orange. And let's just pop in some more of that lighter orange. Blend that in a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm just going to come to the back part of the, the finch and just add a little bit of this orange. And that's more of a red.
rusty orangey color so I'll come in and add a little bit of uh, a kind of a, a Venetian red color and just pull that in create a little bit of a volume change add a little bit of it in the back part and let's get some some kind of a, like a terracotta just to add a little bit of pop yellow on top of that, right up in this area in here. Mix that all up together and just add some really interesting visual. I'm going to add a little bit of this Venetian red into the eye in here. That's good. And some grayish brown. So I've got this uh, nougat, um, nougat color, and I'm going to use that on those back feathers in here. And just lay that down really kind of open, not too controlled. Again, I'm just blocking in some color. A little bit more of a darker gray. So I'll put down a little bit of this Venetian red. So just under here in those like little spots. We're going to continue to work on adding some more of the value ranges. So what I'm doing is that I'm building a line up underneath the, the feather and then I'm just pulling out a value blend. So basically a value blend is when you have, um, you start with a dark and then just go to light. That's called a value blend or blending, um, blending to value. And I'm just working with a colored pencil, so I switched over to a colored pencil. So that's what a value blend or blending to value um, is all about. So just adding, you know, some fun details along the way is really neat. And just kind of working on a little bit of texture. So again, just a little bit of texture work. Just these little lines um, are just going to be indicators for some feathers. So again, this is a very, very quick, quick drawing. I don't have the kind of details that something that's going to take a um, number of hours has. Center spine in here, and then just a little bit of value along here. And again, just playing around a little bit with the with the value. So 
So you can see that as I work adding this value in here, to start off with a line and then pull it out, it Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now, and um, there it is. Um, a nice finished little zebra finch.